drive Uber in Tel Aviv. Ladies and gentlemen, the one thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to learn a lot of new information. So when you take that first trip, it's filled with fun and not with fear. Okay. Why on earth do I use two phones? Well, by using two phones, I increase my weekly earnings by about 20%. And I'm going to show you that in my video. Okay. I come in here on the other one. You can see um, on the interface. Um, I can click on that blue button and go online in Los Angeles. That's where I am now underneath there It says earnings ratings, etc. If you click on to ratings I Come in at 4.95 stars out of five the top drivers in Los Angeles have an average of 4.88 That's a fact you see it in the weekly reports. Now the company has told me that I'm in the top 1% drivers in LA and in the country. So I can assure you, um, you know, I've, I've studied spiritual psychology. I know how to deal with people. And I've also given several um, internet seminars. So I really, really enjoy training and helping people. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to hold back on my knowledge. What I've learned after 2000 trips, I'm going to share with you right here. Okay, so first things first, well, let me make eye contact with you. I apologize. There we go. You can see me better. Um, first things first, uh, from pickup to drop off, if you follow my protocol, you're going to come out with about five stars every single time. There are certain things that you can do on every trip that are going to guarantee you the highest ratings. Underneath my video, there's a description box. I request that you just go to the link in that description box and sign up there so I get a referral. Um, Uber pays, so you know, anywhere from $100 to $500 for the referral. Once you are on board, I can also show you how to refer other drivers, not only in your cities, but other cities. And you make handsome money on um, besides driving. Now, the company Uber... Uh, formed in San Francisco, I can tell you every week they get input from the passengers and the drivers and they increase their platform. It is a lot of fun to have flexible hours, jump in the car at night, in the morning, whenever you feel like it or don't drive at all or do it as supplemental income. You know, mothers, uh, fathers, singles, students, anyone can take up this job. I've driven in several different cities in several different categories and it's basically the same formula. You try and strive for the top professional service towards your client. Now, there are things that I can do that will improve my ratings. Firstly, I have sourced online the best water, the best water there is, the highest quality water. It's called Penta. My clients get that at any time. It's, it's behind the seats. It's readily, readily available. I always have it on board. I have two different types of mints on board. Never, ever put chewing gum in your car. It's going to end up in the carpets. The girls seem to like the strawberry ones. The guys seem to like that. It's always ready. It's in a pouch. They can use it at any time. I'm going to show you a couple of things. It's going to blow you away what I have on board so that I just get these five star ratings. Many, many a times, ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked for condoms. They are a rescue, a guaranteed. If a guy on a Friday or a Saturday night needs one and you have one as an Uber um, driver on board, guaranteed five stars right there. Okay. And um, there are many people that you can see they have a headache. So I'll carry different types of headache tablets on board and truly different ones because some people like Advil, some people like Tylenol, some people like you name it. Okay. So these are a couple of things that you can pay close attention to. How do I choose my music? Well, if the person's getting in the car with several other people and they want to talk, I let them talk. If they're having a meeting, let them have a meeting. If they're on their phone conducting business or an incoming call comes, you remain silent. You switch down the music. But if they want to engage, if they start up with saying, hey, how was your day? That's an open invite into a conversation. I was like, awesome. Had a fantastic day. How about you? And you get into a dialogue and you get to know the person. The amount of people that I have learned through this business that have become friends nationally and internationally, it's insane. I have driven, just to give you an idea, 
you know, not only just students at universities at like UCLA and USC, people that want to go partying, uh, mothers, fathers going out for a dinner date, elderly going to the opera, families going to a barbecue with their kids, picking up kids from the school, but also actors like Channing Tatum, many people uh, picked them up from the Oscars at the Grammys, French Vanilla, uh, Foo Fighters, Guns N' Roses, uh, Puff Daddy, Lionel Richie, Dr. Phil, sports stars like Dwayne Wade, Rajon Rondo, NFL players, professional boxers, you name it, politicians, judges. It's amazing. They all somehow end up in your car. They all use Uber. They love Uber. Okay. So in this video, I want us to create this win-win situation, which means when you sign up on my link and notify me via phone or via email and say, hey, Torsten, I joined. I want to learn all the ins and outs. You can then just call me up or email me and we can have a discussion. I spend about 30 to 40 minutes with a person and afterwards I ask them, did you learn something? And they say it would have taken them months to figure all of this stuff out. So uh, let's cut through the chase. Let's let's not have you experience everything the hard and difficult way. I really want to empower you and make you a fantastic driver, okay? And truly, 4.95 average, I think, after almost 2,000 trips speaks for itself. Almost every single time I leave with a five-star rating and I get great comments afterwards. Uber sees this, so it's, it's a real feel-good part of the app when you get your positive comments coming back. Now, you may also have problematic or problem passengers, okay? And there's also ways to handle those. Um, I'll discuss that on the phone with you if you do have such a person. Could be highly intoxicated, for example. The one thing is, listen, if somebody has had a couple of glasses of wine, better having them in your car than on the road because that's when they oppose a danger to other people, to society and themselves. So as an Uber driver, you're doing a great job keeping these people off the road. Um, Every passenger is precious. It's a major responsibility that you have. So drive careful. Don't speed. Don't drink. Don't do drugs. The company, I can tell you, is amazing. Um, they get back to you. Uber gets back to you within minutes or hours if there is an issue and they resolve it right away. They constantly, like I said, improve the platform and you have this flexibility of the hours they're rolling out in city after city, country after country, continent after continent. So their formula works. Let me tell you, it absolutely works. Okay. So what are some other things that we can pay attention to? Well, you know, airport pickups and drop-offs, make sure you get all the luggage in for them. Don't let them carry the luggage. That always results in extra tips. Eight times out of 10, you're going to get tips for helping them pack the luggage and unpack the luggage. Position it properly at the airport so that they can just walk off. Same thing at a hotel. Drive right up into the hotel lobby. Make the distance as short as possible. When you are in traffic and you're picking up people from a restaurant or a venue, don't go and position yourself where you're putting them in danger. Find a nice safe spot where they can access. Get out. Show manners, display manners, open the door, close the door. How are you? Thank you very much for a great trip. I appreciate it. Things like that go a long way. Manners here are huge and people really appreciate them and they reward you in form of five stars. Okay. So what are some other things we can pay attention to? Um, the music is, is, like I said, it's important, okay? If you have an elderly couple, you're not going to play hip-hop or techno. If you have people that want to party, again, you're not going to play soul, jazz, or classic music, right? You've got to read the situation. What I always do is I have an auxiliary cord. Here it is. It looks like this. It's plugged into my sound system. I give them the power. I said, who would like to be the DJ? Amazingly enough, a lot of people want to step forward and say, I'll play the music, I'll play the music. Great. It's in their hands. Uh, it becomes a group effort. People make special requests. It gets a whole lot of fun. Um, I don't restrict them on the volume. If they want to, if they partying and you know they're partying, they want it loud. You can't just have it like softly so that they can't hear it. No, play it loud. They love it. Okay. You just focus, focus on the road and make sure they get there to their destination. The app itself, have it high up on a dashboard. I'm just going to show you here. There is a holder right there. Put it in there. I even have a disco ball on, on, on my car. 
and I also have a security camera in case a fight breaks, breaks out. I had that once, so I had a switch on the camera. I never run the camera unless I need to. I can have the switch down there, I can switch on the camera. Uh, few people will ask you what that is. I tell them, it's a camera, it's off at the moment. If there are problems, I switch it on. That resolves everything right there. And it's going to make your uh, a trip uh, more pleasurable and more safe, guaranteed. Okay, so I think that was pretty informative. If you have more questions, again, please, I would like to see first that you sign up under my link. Uh, the one thing we're going to go into a great lot of detail is the two phones after you've joined up. How do we position ourselves in the traffic at events to get the maximum income? Now, the three things that you need to pay close attention to. Professional service results in a lot of tips. Just the other day, I had three quick trips. It was $56, and I got another $36 in tips. That's $92. The better the professional service is, the more courteous, the more effort you put into the trip, the more stars you're going to get. The more you learn about the two apps, how to use them, I'm going to show you that, the more money you're going to earn. So you have my name, you have my number, you have my email, reach out to me. And again, we're going to make your first trip filled with fun and not with fear. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you.